consisted of offerings of instant health, wealth, and prosperity. You know the type of mail I'm talking about. Publisher's Clearing House. <laughs> this, and we know this is all foolishness at a couple of levels, actually, because wealth is never a guarantee of happiness. And second, we have about as much chance of winning one of these things as being run over by an operatic superstar in a pink tutu riding an elephant in the sanctuary high noon on Christmas. It's pretty remote. God never promises us wealth and perfect happiness here on earth. He promises that he will be with us through good times and bad. The Bible always tells us the truth. It's always unvarnished. Life will sometimes be hard and sometimes good. Let's look at a little bit of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. A time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search, and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent, a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. There are no fatuous promises here of health, wealth, and happiness. Here's what God promises us in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God said, never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. We are simply to be faithful to God and obedient to Scripture. Part of our faithfulness is giving tithes and offerings so that the kingdom of God can accomplish its mission of going into all the world, baptizing, making disciples, teaching. And oh, and here we have His promise again. And I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Let's pray. Father, what a privilege it is to be part of your mission. Help us to go forward in faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.